Controversial because we're doing something good. Well, you're controversial <laughs> because you're involved with something that uh, somebody around here doesn't agree with, and that's what, listen, I'm involved in controversy almost on a daily basis. You yeah, know? I think that's good. I think that's important. I, you know what? Sara, I think you're 100% right. I think when you stimulate, now Steve Coffey will come in with me once a week and disagree with me about everything. And I'll get nothing but emails and phone calls about it afterwards. Both ways. Both ways. I mean, it's not like everybody agrees with one person and not with another. Good controversy, good discussion is what's good for, you know, look at our political system in this country. There's no discussion. There's no debate anymore. And that's a big part of the problem yeah. because there, there just isn't any. But you're, you're enjoying living here, and uh, it sounds like you're going to be sticking around for a while, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think going back to the controversy, I think that it's an interesting thing. I think that uh, through controversy, through difficult times, we all have the opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, I, I'm bringing us back to His Holiness. I think one of the, I think we we really need, I think we really need positive direction right now. I mean, we are in very difficult times. We're in trouble times, and we do have the opportunity right now for growth. And I, I very much hope to see. Um, that come out of the talk on Wednesday. I'm uh, let me. I just want to stay with your personal life for a moment because I'm a little curious myself. <laughs> Obviously, you grew up in, in, you know, somewhere else in the world. Uh, do, do, you, do you both travel a lot, or you're both here most of the? Were you here all winter? I was a professional show jumper, so I lived in Holland. I was in a different city in a different country, representing this country every single weekend <laughs> for three and a half years. Okay. And so to be quite frank, I'm very happy to be living in one place all now. Right, okay. But no, I mean, it was really wonderful. I'm very fortunate to have been in all the places I have. It was a wonderful life. Very nice. I think just if you want to know about personal stuff, I think this is a nice, uh, a nice story uh, to explain Clara and I's relationship. Um, I'm much more the traveler. You know, I get to go out and... Uh, you know, pursue people like the Dalai Lama and, and many other people. I mean, we have been, I've been very fortunate to. How much of your time does Nexium take up both of you? You know, Nexium's not really a time taking up kind of a thing. It's not, you know, Nexium is a tool set. Like I said, it's almost like how much time do you spend at the gym or, you know, how much time do you spend studying, you know, law to be a good lawyer. Nexium is a set of tools that helps you be a better person. So it, it's as much as you need or want or whatever to use the tools. How much time do you spend with, with uh, uh, Keith or Mary? A lot of time with them. Nancy. Nancy, I'm sorry. You got this, you got this That's Mary thing going My on. apologies. <laughs> Nancy Silverman. How much time did you spend with, with Nancy both? Salzman. Nancy Salzman, I'm sorry. Well, they're both uh, very close personal friends of ours. So, I mean, I, I think Claire spends more time because she's here more. But, um, you know, definitely I see them week on a weekly basis. Okay. All right. So you, so you do see them quite frequently. Yeah, yeah, we have dinner. We go out. We Sometimes we invite Steve over. <laughs> <laughs> They're smart enough not to make it too often. <laughs> not too often. This team come over. Well, I must admit, it's a pleasure meeting both of you. Thank you. You have, uh, you, you, if you, if I may, both highly controversial, but both have uh, made a lot of friends around here in a very short period of time. And obviously, you're you're two pretty powerful women, and uh, I can understand you making friends. Um, but I, I, I. After the last 45 minutes, enjoy listening to you talk. You're both well opinionated and both are hunkered down clearly on what you believe in. And, you know, listen, that always makes for the best argument when you really understand what your beliefs are and your belief system. And that's good. Please come back if you don't mind. I'd love to. We'll, call, love to. we'll call the man and we'll, uh, we'll set it up for another time. That would be great. great. Yes, talk next time. <laughs> well, no, no, he won't. No, I've, been, I've been with him when he's got clients around. He's not much of a talker. Now, if you tune in Wednesday or Thursday morning when he's on with me, can't stop. Be totally right, I'm, I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> I can't stop. Well, him. I hope very much that uh, everyone enjoys the, the talk on Wednesday. I also would like to just mention that there is uh, the opportunity for those who do not get to go to the palace for, you know, whether it's sold out. Um, the, we're live broadcasting to the egg. Right. So I'd love to. And yeah. you can go down there and purchase a ticket. By the way, one Absolutely. thing about Wednesday, come Wednesday morning, this place will be buzzing. Yeah. There'll be a huge buzz in the city Wednesday. It'll be very, very big. I'm Boy, so yeah, excited. One of the two, two prominent religious figures in the world. No question. The Pope no. and the Dalai Lama. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, that's not to say there aren't other great religious figures, but 
you're talking about someone who transcends There's the world. No really question. does. Does Richard Gere travel with him everywhere he goes? Is he coming here? No. 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 But He's, I think there'll be a. I mean, you know, I told him this comes with an entire entourage oh, of monks, and you know, that it, that does something to a city. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's measurable, but that does something to. No, it does, especially when it's in a, sh when it's a short window, yeah. Sarah. And this is a short window Wednesday. He'll be yeah. in and out within a very short period of yeah. time. Yeah. And it'll be it'll be a pretty big story. Are any of the major magazines traveling with him? News magazines? I don't know. I think we yeah. may be having uh, some. Yeah, some. Yeah, usually, when, especially when in the, in the Northeast, because of the proximity to New York City, there's usually some news magazine with them. I too. know there's been a, a group of um, media representatives who have been handpicked by his uh, representative. I think only 10 or 15 people will be able to uh, attend that. I think you've been invited to that. I, I have been. I have been. I'm, I, actually, it's an honor, and I'm thrilled to be there, and I'll see you both there Wednesday morning. Wonderful. You, thank you both very much for coming in. Steve, thanks. Thanks. Oh, you can Steve's a great friend, and thanks. it was very nice when you bring you both in. Claire and Sarah Bromfin, 927. We're back in a moment on Talk 1300. The Paul Vandenberg Show is brought to you by Trustco Bank, with over 100 locations.